Hey, boss. You gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Hello, Manny. Hola. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> I like it. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Meche. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Meche and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. Ah. Marillo de Oro, a very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me, for safekeeping. Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. 
We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets, uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chilla Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. Le numéro gagnant, le 31. Evening, Lupe. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. That you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes! I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay, back to work. But my system. I'll be back. Okay. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! <laughs>
this going to be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha <laughs> ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son, and every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha, restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now, <laughs> except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that, but we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a maritime union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> that funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'd better go finish packing. I. You do that, son. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh... Manny. At last, we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. 
I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh, you think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. OK. Alive, we, we slept. slept. Life's, Life's just, just some, some rapid, rapid eye movement. movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention, because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ch uh, 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 uh. Mm. <laughs> well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. I'm not going to drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Testing. 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 All right! Who's ready to rock and roll? 
Maybe later then, okay? Good evening. I like to read a poem. The cracks in my skull. Eating only spiders and leaves. I ache. Inside a dream, inside a dream, inside a dream. Skibi bop bop. Skibi bop bop. The end. We hear you, Daddy. Terry. Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh, uh the solution that makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew ways like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, man. I, I told you. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big... A laundromat, if you get my drift. You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, sea bees and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's going to make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Looks like a great night for cat races. Oh, sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. You again? I was just about to say the same thing. Sorry, monsieur, but you cannot come upstairs without a pass. Wow, Manny Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We were on a tight ship here, you know. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny, and so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Ah. 
sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees That's everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Actually, figs are Don't a you personal just love favorite. prunes? They have such a great texture. They're never all wrinkled up like my prunes. grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> poor Speaking grandma of metal Hedwig. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Fuchi, that smell is peor que la muerte. Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh, no. It says, revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Aha! A little stinky, but it could be worse. I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. Little Noir Perrymonk, number two, two is the winner. Your chips, monsieur. Manny? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting, or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, 
The card will be on the table. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from th that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang! I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me hear. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Looks like a turkey baster. That monster upstairs is running me ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. Hello? Hello out there? Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here immediately. Oh, oh. So Get up, you stupid cat! Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it. Mmm, fruity, but voluminous.
Well, somebody's sleeping on the job. Ah, it's empty. Ooh. Ruben! Where Ooh. are you? Taking a little nap, a vous, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Eto, more wine. Oh, I'm going to fire him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. Here. meal it's full of double end tickets this could get a hundred souls on the number nine train something's not right about this i get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than chow chilla charlie all right manny give me the case charles i thought we had a bargain no we do but I thought I'd bring some muscle along, just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it! You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh... Don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> go, go, go! Puss, 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 puss! Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Look, you gotta cut Gladys off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got no problem. Credit? How did Gladys get credit? He's part owner of your club, ain't he? Half owner, actually. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. So as long as you're in business, he's in business. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Manny, let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. 
I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> Ooh. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that twice. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. Come on! I already got rid of that. Well, I can do the same to you, Calavera. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. Friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Get that mouth! An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you going to do? I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, Watch especially it, if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. Oh, for crying out loud! What's that? Oh, for crying out loud! What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? Yes. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! Ha ha! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector.
There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? squirt all that hookah water here. real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I I'll tell you tomorrow. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean?
it's empty. Shot. Nemozogia, hold still, Matario. Dead. Ugh, Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Resek Chavarko. What kind of sailor are you? <clears throat> Can't handle booze, huh? What you the us gonna know? What engine at the name folks give is at me? The Taliashen Boland watcher. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. MIA he is. Well, he sobered up. I send him to limbo. Yeah, yeah. He'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see that what is you what got I told you. him. A huh, sailor? Are you kidding Seaman me? Anselmo Naranja Ensign Third Class. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up to work in the morning. Hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure. It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Skete, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. I gave him the idea in first place. Not at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Huh. Wow. Relax. 
Vasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. <sighs> All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here, and the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? In the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha! What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts! Bus, 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 bus. That's the sugar mama lights! Yeah! That's no way to treat a photo as juicy as this. Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. <clears throat> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either, but don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte.
Ah, Lady Luck. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Fourteen. Fourteen is the winner. Le 14. Numéro 14, elle a gagné. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it! That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they gonna close it for? Ah, huh. yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah, throw the drunk out on his big orange butt. And bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> 